Well, hi everybody. Welcome to another uh, chapter of Outdoors with Steve Hardesty. Today we're going on the uh, four mile loop trail at Long Hunter State Park here outside of Nashville, Tennessee. They have the uh, regular volunteer trail, which is actually about five and a half miles and total out and back is 11, but we're just doing the day loop trail today, which is just a hair over four miles. I've got my beautiful partner and wife Susie with me and there's you can see the sign there uh, the volunteer trail uh, and the four mile loop which is what we're doing we'll probably see a bunch of people on the trail today it's um, what is this January 31st January 31st last day of January but it's a little overcast but it's a beautiful day and we'll probably see a bunch of people out here and I'm trying out my backpack for my trip next week to uh, the uh, Ozark Trail with my brothers when I'm going to do a bunch of hammock stuff. So I'm uh, just making sure my pack is riding right and give Susie a chance to get out of the house and enjoy the outdoors. So uh, we'll uh, check in with you several times on the trip and let you know what it's like and take some scenery shots and stuff like that. So talk to you guys later. Well, it's beautiful out here. We've already seen uh, several deer and uh, it's just a beautiful trail. Let me give you a shot of it. You can see uh, the trail's well maintained. Beautiful winter day. Uh, be a great place for uh, a four mile jog in the morning, I think. And the terrain would be nice for a, a gentle trail run. So I may have to try that out one morning too. I can't believe I lived this close to this place and never checked it out before. You can see the lake right through the trees over there. Not sure if you can see it or not. But we'll be closer to the lake in a little bit. So, uh, hope you're enjoying the hike. Okay, the very first uh, bridge, little bitty creek crossing going over to the lake that we came across. Uh, they've, uh, I think a tree fell down and busted the bridge up so I'm gonna give you a little shot of that uh, the reason I'm showing you this because if you came here with the idea of someone that uh, has limited mobility and maybe they might be in a wheelchair or or one of those strollers uh, for kids you know the big running strollers you might have a little trouble here so I'm gonna show this to you hope you can see all this because I'm using a GoPro but they have uh, they chopped it up and cut the tree up and they moved a section of bridge over here so you can get across the creek. It just might be a bit of a challenge. Okay, now we've gotten, uh, I don't know, about a mile and a half into the trail and uh, we come to the split where the volunteer trail, the one that's uh, in and out for five and a half miles goes to my right and the day loop trail goes to my left. And we'll be sharing part of this on the way back on the loop. And we're going to head off to the left and go to the day loop trail. We're getting ready to hike through a nice cedar grove. And the trail is nice and meandering through the woods. Uh, just really nice. You can look over here. You can see the lake. Percy, J. Percy Priest Lake. And you see the big rock line all around the lake. They drop the lake about 8 or 9 feet during the winter. So uh, it's got a, a lot of rock area if you wanted to go down and... Uh, explore the lake and look for rocks and just hang out and there's certainly plenty of places to do that and uh, here on the last day of January 2015 it's just as quiet as can be out here well right now we are uh, pretty much at the I guess I'd call it the bottom corner the furthest bottom corner of the trail loop and uh, coming down right by the lake I'm going to show you here and uh, you see a lot of exposed rocks along the lake. We're going to take a walk down there too. Susie found her a bench. She's going to claim for her own. Looks like it's a new bench. They must have just rebuilt this one. And uh, we're going to come down here by the lake and take a little break and then relax because we've got plenty of time. It's just a short hike, but it's a beautiful hike. And I bet you during the summer, it is a really gorgeous hike. Except, if I'm not mistaken, this is the area that they call the um, 
party cove area and I think during the summertime this this whole area of the lake here is full of pontoons and houseboats and stuff and uh, and I think uh, it might be a little loud in some of these areas but uh, you know it's a lake and it's close to it's close to the city you can see somebody over there either crappie fishing or bass fishing right now which if it was about 20 degrees warmer I'd probably be out here doing the same doggone thing because I love to bass fish but as you can see by the rocks here the water is usually right up here alongside the roots of that tree over there and so they drop it uh, several feet during the winter time well we're probably about halfway through the loop right now and uh, won't be long we're going to start pulling away from the lake a little bit and heading back up where it runs into the volunteer trail for the loop back and we come across this spot that's real high on a bluff and it's just a beautiful picture of the lake Susie and I are having a great time and uh, I'm going to share this with you see how you like that just a gorgeous gorgeous view of the lake sure hope you guys are enjoying this wish you could come along if you look over there you can see a boat flying across the lake probably a crappie fisherman though it's getting awful close to bass season it won't be long I'll be out here well we followed the loop up to where it runs into the volunteer trail which we will be sharing with the volunteer trail on our way back to the uh, truck and here's the sign that you run into there and over here to the left on the volunteer trail they have an information center with information about the volunteer trail how long it is and how much further you've got to go on it before you reach your camping sites there's one or two official camping sites but there's several unofficial ones but I know that they prefer for you to be camping in the official camping sites if you're on the volunteer trail and you're also supposed to go by the rangers office and pick up a permit they only allow so many people there. I don't know if it's 12, 15, or 20, what it is. I think it's about 15. But you have to get your permits. And it's advised that you get them on Friday morning, even if you're not coming out until Saturday to spend Saturday night. Because the, Friday morning is when they start handing the permits out. And during beautiful weather, they go real fast. So the ranger told me it's advisable to come in on Friday morning sometime and pick up your permit. So you might want to keep that in mind if you're going to do the volunteer trail, which Susie and I plan to do sometime in the near future. We just haven't done it yet. So hope you're enjoying yourself. If I see anything interesting on the way back on the trail, I'll let you know. We're back from the uh, volunteer day loop trail over here at Long Hunter State Park. Uh, Susie's getting her stuff off here and uh, pulling out some money for the donation box. And uh, we had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we saw several people, uh, saw a few dogs on leashes. As you can see by the sign there, the dogs are supposed to be on the leash at all times. And they were. And uh, just a real nice place to go. I had a great time. Uh, there's the donation box that Susie's going to put something in. A little something to help maintain the trail and uh, take care of this nice area we've got here. I was also testing out a thing called All Trails. It's an app on my phone, and uh, it tracks the trail. You and you can follow previous tracks of other people, or you, can, if you're on a trail that no one has tracked before, you can track it yourself and take photographs, and it logs it into the trail. And I plan on posting that onto the All Trails website if it will let me. And you look right down here, and you'll see the. Uh, URL for it if I'm successful in doing that and uh, I think you'll enjoy that you'll get to see some of the photographs we took besides uh, watching the video get an idea what the trail looks like and if you would please right up here above my head somewhere there should be a place for you to click to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and that'll give you a chance to watch the other outdoors with Steve Hardesty videos and uh, get a chance to come along with me on the trail hope you all have a good time and See you out on the trail.